<laughs> okay. All right. Hi, I'm Connor. And I'm Dana. And today, I'm gonna start over. <laughs> I don't like my face. My face. <laughs> Hi, I'm Connor. And I'm Dana. We're here at the Horn Canyon Trailhead, and today we're going to hike to Twin Peaks. Should I say we're gonna hike the Twin Peaks Trail? Um, no. So we're just past the first water crossing on the Horn Canyon Trail. But if you're headed to... A little way. <laughs> I just felt like I was so much taller than you right there. Our trail. There's a sign on the left and the trail branches off to the left. Keep an eye out for the Elmore Trail. It'll branch off on the left hand side and there'll be a sign that marks the trail depart departing from the... <laughs> Keep an eye out for the Elmore Trail on the left. This will be the first trail... Um, first turn off on your first way. First turn off thing. I'm getting closer. Uh huh. <laughs> Hi, Bean. Nice hat. Hold on. I'm gonna focus. Oh, that's a lot of recording. Back in December, the Thomas Fire swept through these hills and you'll notice as we hike through them that there's a lot of uh, new growth, a lot of green, but also surrounded by the old uh, burned brush. And that's the final take. That's all we're gonna do. <laughs> growth, which definitely adds to the scenery and makes it sort of a unique landscape at the moment. <laughs> But the nice thing about it now is that since there's been a few rains and we're a little further on past the fire, there's lots of new growth, which makes for a really interesting landscape. Lots of green, lots of black, and very curious. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Better. <laughs> Not. Just a little further up on the trail, uh, you'll see the Twin Peaks Trail, which is the trail you want to take when you're trailing. <laughs> I could say like three quarters of a mile from the trailhead is the turnoff for the Twin Peaks <laughs> trail on the right hand side of the Elmore. <laughs> it's like, it's impossible. It's too hard. <laughs> All right. Just a little further up, you'll find the Twin Peaks trail on your right. From here, it's pretty much, there might be a little bit more that's relatively even, but it's going to be pretty steep from here on out. Hey Donna. <laughs> hey Donna. A little ways further up the trail, you'll see the Twin Peaks turn off on your right. <laughs> trail that continues past this last turn off, but at the moment, because of the Thomas fire, it's no longer sort of apparent. So. <laughs> you started off good. Uh -huh. um, from when we started at the Horn Canyon Trail hit to the very top and <laughs> I should stop saying and at the end of every sentence just let it stop then I can you already recording uh huh yeah I got you great <laughs> so this last section with the switchbacks coming up to the peak is the steepest part of the trail or one of the steepest parts of the trail 
trail review because it's actually a really special trail for us. Connor proposed to me up here uh, two years ago, two and a half years ago. <laughs> um, and anyways, it was really special. Uh, it was actually, uh, let's start over. So this last stretch after the saddle with the switchbacks on the side of the mountain on the trail on the way to Twin Peaks. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Los Padres first. So we're hiking in the Los Padres National Forest today. Yay! Woo! <laughs> You're in the Los Padres National Forest. How's that? Did you like it? are allowed so it's really great if you want to get out with your dog um, and out with your friends if you want to go mountain biking uh, but you do need to keep in mind that you are sharing the trails and that you need to be on the lookout for mountain bikers mountain, mountain cyclists <laughs> uh, but you do need to be on the lookout for mountain bikers uh, horseback riders when they're on horses and dogs 